talk, you know, and, and my whole goal with the book was to give you your manual, you know, like cars have indicator lights and nobody gives us a manual for our bodies. And this can become your like Bible so that when you do go to a practitioner, you have everything written down so that you really can heal. You know, it's funny, I actually have to add this because um, this whole idea about the gaining and losing weight, I had a client who went for her checkup and she was up 10 pounds and her cholesterol was up like 50 pounds and she started freaking out. And when we actually talked about the stress, again, it comes back to so much of the stress that we live under you know, on a regular basis, she retains water when she's really stressed out. It's so interesting how a body reacts to things. So, and her cholesterol goes up. So we, she noticed this pattern. And as soon as she realized the pattern of it, she was able to breathe and release it as opposed to panic of what happened because the weight was gone three days later. It was just water weight. That's all it was. Isn't that interesting? It's fascinating, right? So that's another thing. It's like, okay, Breathe, take a step back. Let me really look at this because our body produces cholesterol. Her HDL was fantastic. Her triglycerides were fantastic. Her LDL went up a little bit, but our, our bodies are producing cholesterol. And when we're stressed, yes, you're going to produce more cholesterol. So everything then becomes these pieces of the puzzle that you're able to realize like, oh, I get it. This is what happens when I don't have to react. I could just use it as information to just bring myself back to my body, to be present, to breathe and take it one step at a time. I like what you you talk in the book because you talk a lot about yourself as well. And you were like, you were living in an altered reality until your son's diagnosis with um, Crohn's. Um, You were, you said I was, I was healthy. I was exercised. I was eating right. I was also taking, and you talk about, you know, stuff that you were, the creams for eczema, the iron for anemia and all the stuff that you were, you were taking Mm -hmm. and you never questioned it because you were healthy, but you were also tired. You had no energy. You were cranky and you figured it must be getting old. You must be getting older or mm-hmm. that you needed the pill, you know, that we talk about in that, that <laughs> ad that's on TV with the beautiful music that you talked about before. And yeah. I find that so interesting. And you know what? Yeah, you thought you were healthy and you thought you were doing everything right. But yet I'm still tired and I'm still cranky and I'm still not. And, and now look at you now, never felt better, right? Never felt better. And, you know, the days that I sometimes feel extra tired or if I'm exerting myself too much, I'll honor my body. I won't start questioning like, oh, no, what's wrong? It'll just be my body saying to me, you know what? Rest a little bit. Take some time off. It's okay. You need to recharge your batteries. You need to fill your cup. And it's okay, right? It's the compassion for self that it's okay. Did you ever see the movie Upside Down, that animated movie with the uh, or Inside Out? Inside Out or Upside Down? With the girl who uh, it's all about her emotions, sad, joy, anger. Do you know what no, I'm talking about? No, but I need to, I need, I, I know what you're talking about, but I need to, I don't know the, the name. Yeah, I think it's Inside Out. And the, the reason I'm bringing it up is that at first, joy is trying to get sadness to be joyful. Come on, come on, come on. Until she realized, you know what? We have to honor all of our feelings and not try to brush it aside, but to recognize it so we can then work with it because they're, they're, they're always going to be there. The fear, the anger, the joy, the sadness. So it's not trying to avoid everything. It's trying to recognize so that you can honor them and move forward. My special guest today, clinical nutritionist, lifestyle nutritionist. Um, we talk about all of this and so much more. Her book, The Gut Method, Secrets Beyond Your Plate for a Healthier, More Energetic Life. Just reading that title of the book makes me, um, would want anyone to want to read this book. It got to me. I just saw to see the word gut and it, and I was done. And the book is a fast read. There's so much information in it. And you, um, I think anyone that that is uh, feeling, probably all of us need to see you. I don't know if there's going to be enough time in your your <laughs> lifetime or your day to take care of all of us, but but this was a start. And maybe we'll do something more about the gut, you know, monthly to give, you know, secrets out there for people. I would love that. That would be fantastic. To live a healthier, happier life. So go buy the book, The Gut Method on Amazon. Um, Sharon Holland Gelfin, thank you so much for this time. We'll we'll definitely talk again. And thanks for sharing those stories and and your story. And thank you so much for having me. It was great being here. Thanks for joining me on this episode of What's Up with Wendy. If you love this episode, head over to iTunes or your favorite platform to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Please also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at What's Up with Wendy. 
You can learn more about my podcast on my website, whatsupwithwendy.com. Until next time, this is Wendy Lowy Sloan. Keep being kind.